In this example, we know the pH of a solution and we want to calculate the corresponding proton concentration of this solution. And that's a fairly easy if we just simply go back to the definition of pH, we know that the pH is defined as the negative logarithm to the base of 10 of the proton concentration of a solution. And we are basically looking for the proton concentration so we can write this equation the other way around. We can write this as negative log 10 to of the proton concentration equals the pH. I just look at it from the other side and I bring the negative sign to the other side. So I get log 10 of the proton concentration equals negative pH. And what I can do now is I can get rid of this log 10 because we are not interested in the log 10 of the proton concentration. We want to know the proton concentration. And we apply the inverse mathematical operation to taking a valued log 10. And that would be 10 to the power of. So we take both sides of this equation, 10 to the power of, and for the left hand side we get 10 to the power of log 10 of the proton concentration equals, and we need to do that on the right hand side as well, 10 to the power of negative pH. Now we know that 10 to the power and log 10 cancel each other out. And what we've got left on the left hand side of the equation just simply is the proton concentration. And this is 10 to the power of negative, and we've got a pH value of 3.6. And we just simply put this into a calculator, and we would get a value of 2.6. 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Now we need to think about the unit for this and the definition of the pH includes this concentration here has to be given in the unit of mole per liter uh, which is the same sometimes abbreviated as a capital M molar or it's also the same as a mole decimeter to the minus three. So therefore this would be the unit for our proton concentration here mole decimeter to the minus three. So that would be the proton concentration corresponding to the pH of 3.8686. I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.